Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a review on the Altus Lumen Tri-L flashlight, or area light. Um, very interesting product, I just did the uh, review on their other model here, um, and this one's actually my favorite. Uh, they actually have a, a couple different ones uh, in the works right now, and they're always trying new things, you know, every company always has something new they want to bring out. Um, but so far this is my favorite uh, of the two, uh, the Tri-L, just more versatile, uh, more power options, things like that. So let me open this up and show you what you get with the light. Here is the actual light itself. Okay. Other package contents include the Karen case, same one as the uh, the other model. Very nice, extra padded. Um, there's two pockets in here. A lot of carry options. Very nice. And this one, just like the other one, you're also going to get a user manual. Okay, which again on the back here lets you know what the package contents are. Uh, this way, you know, if you're missing something, you can contact them and, and have that corrected. Uh, but the contents are the actual flashlight, the Tri-L, the uh, carry bag, which I just showed you. Uh, what I'm holding my hand here is the power cable. That's for recharging. This is a, a fully rechargeable light, which is very cool. And right here in this box is the AC power adapter. Okay? So let me put the, the box aside here and get the other stuff out for you. And there's your AC power adapter. Okay, so the uh, the actual light itself, here it is. Very cool design. Um, this actually has a tripod um, kind of uh, bottom on it, okay, or base. This actually extends out just like a tripod. Okay, three legs, hence the, the term tripod. Um, this has just uh, almost infinite different... Uh, you know, holding methods, any way you can position it wherever you need the light. This actually rotates 360 degrees, okay? So you can get very creative with uh, how exactly you um, you want your light, where you want it. Uh, you know, like, like I said, I mean, you could be you could be very creative with this, uh, this flashlight. You have two flashlight ports. This is your spotlight on the front. And then actually on the top portion here is your uh, area light, or excuse me, Yes, this is your area light, and then the spotlight is on the inside, okay? The area light has four LEDs in here. These are all half-watt, um, five-millimeter LEDs, okay? And the ins inside here on the, uh, the spotlight, you have four high-flux LEDs, okay? The, um, the runtime on these, on the spotlight, you have eight full hours of runtime when this is fully charged, okay? And then on the top part here, uh, you only have 1.8 hours. This is going to put out more light. It's more um, direct light. Uh, again, you know, as if you were using it for a regular flashlight. This, however, is going to spread out the light evenly. Okay, that's why it's going to last a little bit longer, a little bit more uh, efficient LEDs on the uh, on the inside here. Okay, so again, eight hours uh, straight, fully charged with the spotlight, and 1.8 hours uh, with the area light. Okay, let me show you what they look like. Very simple operation here on the side. Your buttons uh, up. Upwards, and it shows you the picture here. The, the, um, if you're holding like this, it's up. If you're holding like this, it's left. But you can see the four dots represent the front because that's how the LEDs are uh, placed out. And then on the right here shows the inside. They're more of a square as opposed to a line. Okay, so just to use this as regular flashlight, you gotta push up, and you can see here the LEDs are lit. And like I said, you use it like a regular flashlight. Now, if you push all the way down and open this up, you have now your area light. Okay? You can kind of see this in the background as I pan across the stuff here. There's your area light. Now, it's a really cool feature on this that I didn't actually read in any literature is that as you're closing this, at some point, the area light it switches off. Okay? This is a, a feature uh, that's going to allow you to save energy. Okay? If, for in some case, if you're accidentally turning your light on, and it goes all the way up, you can see that it's on. Okay, it's in a bag, whatever. You can, you can visually see it's on. However, if you push this all the way down and put the inside light on, because it's closed here, uh, because it's a folding design, you can't tell that's on. Okay, so you would drain all your batteries. However, when it's all the way closed like that, it is completely off. It switches, it kills the power to it. Okay, so when it opens to a certain point, it will go on. Which is very cool, because you can leave in that position, then whenever you need it, you just open it up, and you're ready to go. And you close it, and it's going to cut the power, as you can see there. 
So that's a pretty cool feature. And then of course the switch in the middle is just the off position. Now right here you see you have your, um, your port for the charger. There's a built-in charger in this, uh, this light. And that's where this comes in. This is a very simple USB cable on one side. And the other side fits the, um, where your charger is. Okay, so all you do is you plug this in. Obviously line it up. It only goes in one way. And this plugs into any USB port. Okay, so now you can charge your flashlight in your laptop or on your computer. And in today's society, we have computers everywhere. Um, so having a USB port uh, charger is actually a great idea. Um, the one uh, kind of caveat to this is that when this is plugged into your computer, you can either leave it plugged in and have it on, constant, if you wanted to. Uh, again, area light or the spotlight on top, doesn't matter. Um, but you cannot charge it at the same time. So if it's on, you're using the battery power uh, through your computer, uh, through the power source, to keep it on as long as you want. Or, if you have it in the off position, you can keep it plugged in to actually charge it. Okay, uh, the, the charge time is exactly three hours. Now, I've personally tested this, and it's, it's dead on. It took exactly three hours <laughs> to charge fully. Um, so again, it's one or the other. You can't charge it while it's on. Either you're charging it, or it's on, uh, when you're plugged in anyway. Um, now, let's say... You know, you can't get to a computer for some reason. You don't have a computer by you or whatever. Um, that's where your AC adapter comes in. Okay, this plugs into any standard outlet, uh, U.S. outlet. Of course, if you, you know, live in different countries, you can get a converter piece that you can plug into your wall. Um, because I know that might be an issue. I do have viewers all over the world. Uh, but that's a simple fix. You can get a little adapter piece. But basically, this uh, has a USB port on the bottom. So um, you plug your USB plug into that. And then you plug this right into the wall. Okay, and therefore you can charge this uh, through the wall as opposed to um, through the computer. So again, two, di two totally different um, options on charging this. Very simple. Uh, again, you can charge this pretty much anywhere. Uh, so it's really, really convenient. I do like the fact that it is rechargeable. Um, on the other model, it takes, uh, I believe, four AA batteries. And although batteries are obtainable pretty much everywhere, that's a, a constant cost. Uh, obviously, every time you have to buy batteries, you're putting more money into the... Uh, the, the object or whatever you're talking about. Um, so this being rechargeable is again more energy efficient, more cost efficient, which I really like. Um, let's see what else. This uh, this whole this whole unit here is um, uh, recyclable. It's actually uh, used uh, from 85% recyclable magnesium. The whole case here. And I know when I say magnesium, I know I have a lot of my viewers are into the uh, bushcraft stuff and outdoor stuff, and you might be thinking, well, hmm. Can I uh, scrape off some of the side here and start a fire? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, no, you can't. It's, it's magnesium mixed with other metals. Um, so it's not, you can't use it in that sense. But it is, uh, it is used out of 85% uh, recycled magnesium, and the whole unit itself is recyclable. Um, so again, Altus Lumen keeps an uh, environmentally friendly uh, you know, aspect in when they're producing their products. And that's a big selling point, is a lot of their uh, products that they offer is... Um, you know, environmentally safe and environmentally friendly. Um, fantastic light. Again, you know, the case is awesome. You can use this case with the light and with your cell phone. If that, you know, what's more, most convenient for you, you can uh, keep the light somewhere else and use the case for something else entirely. It's totally up to you. It comes with the light anyway. Um, again, I already went over the charging uh, options here. A lot of versatility there. You can use the wall or any USB port. Uh, again, you know, you can... Any, any, any way your imagination takes you, you can use this light as far as positioning uh, and, and lighting um, angles. Again, spotlight, you can use it. The tripod, something uh, pretty simple like this. If you wanted to, there's actually a small hole in the center portion of the, the third leg of the tripod. I can get that in, on film here. And the little holes there for you to, uh, you can put some fishing line through here and hang this if you want to use this in a campsite or something uh, you know, that nature, uh, you can get very, very creative with this. And again, the, the fact that this swivels 360 degrees is a huge help um, in giving you more versatility on, you know, what kind of lighting angles you might need, depending on what you're using it for. So very versatile light. Um, again, just, uh, I, I'm a big fan of these. They're a lot of fun. Uh, small package, you know, a lot of flashlights. We're so used to uh, uh, cylindrical flashlights, you know, like mag lights and things of that nature. And it's not really something you can keep in your pocket really comfortably. I mean, you know, maybe your back pocket if you're standing. Uh, but something like this, just having a um, rectangular profile, uh, really is innovative. And I'd like to see more flashlights in the future come out that are like this, this style. This is something totally different. Um, 
So very cool. Again, just like I said in my other video on the other uh, Altus Lumen model, uh, great for students. Um, you know, if you're in a, a dorm room, something like that, it gives you a nice little, um, you know, independent lighting source. You know, doing homework or whatever you're doing, especially you know when you're by the computer. Now you have the USB port to uh, to charge that when you're not using it. It's just a fantastic product. I really like it. Again, it it fills a different market uh, for lighting. Very very cool. Um, let me give you a little bit of dimensions uh, before I leave you with some uh, some positive notes and negative notes on this. Um, I do take in consideration that I do have a lot of uh, foreign viewers as well as uh, U.S. viewers, so I took the liberty of converting some uh, dimensions here. Uh, first, the weight uh, for my foreign viewers it weighs 140 grams, and of course for my U.S. viewers that's uh, 4.9 ounces. What's pretty cool is a lot, of, a lot of you guys who watch my videos are into knives and stuff, and I find myself all the time when people tell me a weight of a product, and they maybe say it's 8 ounces or, or 3 ounces, I always compare that to different knives I have. You know, I know one knife is 4 ounces, so I know it kind of gives me a reference of, uh, of weight there. Um, so again, just under 5 ounces, uh, about the weight of a, a hefty pocket knife. Um, as far as dimensions, when this is closed, as you see it now, uh, or folded shut, uh, it's 4.3 ounces or excuse me, 4.3 inches by 2.3 inches by 0.7 inches wide. Okay, uh, in, of course, for my foreign viewers, that's 110 millimeters by 60 millimeters by 20 millimeters wide. Uh, now, when this is open, it's the same exact dimensions except for height, of course, which goes from 110 to exactly 200 millimeters. And as far as inches, it goes from uh, 4.3 inches to 7.8. So that's your uh, your frame of reference there. Of course, you see my hands, uh, medium to large size hands, uh, about the size I would say, I would say maybe just a little bit bigger than the Razer cell phones. So I'm using that as a reference because they're they're flat, a uh, similar shape like this. Um, obviously, a little bit thicker, but again, pretty uh, pretty cool product to slip in your pocket uh, comfortably. It's not cylindrical. Um, I really like it. It's it's definitely a unique product. Uh, it definitely fills a, a market a need. For different kind of lighting, uh, very cool. That is the uh, the Altus Lumen Tri L flashlight. Uh, I suggest if you're interested in this product to pick one up. It's very cool. I, again, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I always uh, always enjoy your your comments and feedback, and I uh, thank you for your time. Hope you have a good day.